Why don't you just get a job? Well, because I'm autistic. As an autistic person living under a capitalism, I have often found myself having to get your fucking ass up and work. Fucking millionaire talking to me about being lazy. But as an autistic person, I have definitely struggled in the workforce. Autistic people often struggle understanding social cues, body language, facial expressions, those sorts of things. This can make interpersonal relationships within the workforce extremely difficult. Sorry I annoyed you with my friendship. Like when you're working in a movie theater and you tell your coworker a joke on the first day you meet her, but apparently that joke was so insulting that the rest of the team just completely isolates you and makes fun of you for the next year. Thanks, Victoria. On top of that, certain workplace environments can be extremely difficult for autistic people to exist in just sensory-wise. Autistic people often struggle dealing with loud noises, bright lights, strong smells. I worked in a movie theater for about two and a half years. I dealt with all of those every single day. You do not know pain until you've heard Justin Timberlake's Can't Stop This Feeling on a non-stop loop for eight hours. Justin, you were already a bad person for what you did to Britney Spears. You are worse for what you did to me. And if all of that wasn't enough, another struggle that I have had as an autistic person in the workplace is because I am able to mask, I am therefore doubted about my autism and therefore have had multiple needs denied because my manager did not believe I am autistic. I repeatedly had to tell my assistant manager I'm autistic, only to be told, I don't think you're autistic. I think you're just quirky. Where do you think the quirk comes from, Stephanie? Do you think I like people hating me just for fun? And then even when things go wrong for autistic people in the workforce, because we interpret things differently and we react differently than the neurotypical person would, it again, leads to bad for us. At that same movie theater, I was involved in a workman's comp issue because I slipped and fell downstairs, almost dislocating a vertebrae of my spine. Yeah, ow, oh, yeah, ow, fuck, fuck, fucking cock, fuck, fuck, fuck. My autistic reaction to that was what it almost always is, elopement. I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> and then I came back and reported it the next day when I was able to actually communicate. But because I left and came back, they thought that I was lying, even though they literally had it on camera that I had slipped and fallen and was wobbling my way out of the theater. But because I didn't react the same way that they thought I should, I was doubted. So if being an autistic person in the workforce is so hard, what can we do for autistic people? Well, for one, as an autistic person, the first thing that you should do after being hired is go to human resources and let them know that you are a disabled person and that you have autism. Once they have that documented, you can report to human resources anytime that somebody has been ableist towards you, including doubting your disability. They are not allowed to do that at the workforce on company time. And two, they are also therefore legally required required to accommodate you within the workforce. And if they don't, you can always contact an attorney, particularly one who deals with workforce, and discuss with them whether or not you have a case in order to get the protections that you deserve. Also, it may be beneficial to look into places that work from home, maybe as customer service agents, data entry. Definitely wouldn't recommend content creation. It doesn't pay well. But these are fields that autistic people famously thrive in because we are able to sit in a controlled environment. Being autistic in the workforce is not easy. And one of the best ways to emotionally help is just to bitch about it. Like seriously, just bitch about it in my comment section. Not only does it help the algorithm, but also it just feels nice to bitch. Thanks again for joining me for subscribers only content. If you have something you would like me to talk about or go into a deep dive about, be sure to leave it in the comments down below. And thank you again for your support. I really could not make the stuff that I make without you guys.